there, Code Warriors! Welcome to Code Query, your one-stop shop for code plagiarism, detection and maintaining code integrity. I'm Azumi, your guide through this awesome demo today. As you can see, this is our user-friendly homepage. We've got the video tests folder highlighted, where we'll dive into the power of Code Query. But before we jump in... Buckle up, because we have a special treat for you. We're thrilled to give you a sneak peek at our brand new checking operating system. This isn't just a facelift, folks. We are completely revamping the platform for simplicity and speed. Check out the all-new rapid checking feature that enables checking all results in a flash. And that's not all. We heard you loud and clear. Introducing the game-changing quota rollover feature. Convert those unused projects into permanent credits or vice versa. Flexibility never looked so good. And this is just a taste of the exciting things coming soon to CodeQuery. Now, let's get back to this demo. We're in the Video Demo Tests folder, where we've already run some tests. Take a look at what happens when you don't use our amazing Auto-Detect Base Code setting. Everything is going haywire. In assignments, students often share common base code. That's why this feature is a lifesaver. It lives right here in the Check Type section. Now, let's see the magic happen! With Auto-Detect Base Code activated, the shared code disappears from the radar. Now, we can truly focus on potential plagiarism. Look at these two submissions. Something fishy might be going on. But before jumping to conclusions, let's check the group overview. As you can see, there are no suspicious clusters. That's a good sign. Let's dig deeper though. We see a 61% similarity on the cpu.java file in old academic projects. Let's check it out. Hold on, it seems all that's flagged are simple variables, not core logic. Our initial suspicion from the group overview seems to be confirmed. No plagiarism here. Let's head back. Now, what about plagiarism beyond the classroom? CodeQuery lets you run a web check on a whole group or individual submissions. Let's take old academic projects the potentially suspicious submission and run it through the web check. Drumroll, please. Wow, we've got a 98% match. This warrants further investigation. Since it's a single submission, there's no group overview. Let's jump right into the results. Here we see some web matches. There seems to be some commonly used interfaces, but it looks like we have some complete copies. Upon closer inspection, it appears our user has copied their code from online. Oh no. Ah. And that's how easily you can detect plagiarism. So, there you have it. We've just shown you how CodeQuery helps you scan for plagiarism in classrooms and beyond. Stay tuned for the next video, where we'll put CodeQuery to the test with code clearly ripped off from the web, given our new major update and how much it changes matches. Love you everyone and goodbye!